Oh hey, it's Evelina Demore here. How are you going? I didn't see you there. Today I'm going to show you my gothic shoe collection. I have been collecting shoes for the last decade and seriously, I don't wear half of them. It's so fucking stupid. But anyway, these are my favorite pair. These are a pair of New Rocks that I've had forever and they're super high and super comfortable. So what I thought I'd do today is just run through, so my son crying in the background, all of the shoes that you can see behind me there. And yeah, I'll tell you if I like them, if I don't like them, um, where you can get them, if they're still available. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So this is the first pair of New Rocks that I was wearing. They look amazing but if you're not into like a three and a half plus inch heel do not try to buy these that's the only negative thing i have to say about new rock is the heels are just a little unrealistic i like a slightly lower heel so when i go to concerts or something i can wear them comfortably without you know getting that massive ache that you get when you wear a really high heel but yeah, I've, I've still worn these to plenty of concerts and just put up with it, but my feet were killing the next day. Um, so yeah, that's like aluminium or I don't know what material that is, but that's solid steel there. A lot of buckles. They're, they remind me of the boot that Celine wears in Underworld. Um, to me, that is like just the ultimate gothic boot. Like we're kind of starting from number 10 and going down. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Another really cool feature that I like about this is that it has a side access zip because I am the laziest motherfucker in the world and if I have to lace that up and even just do a little bow tie, I'm not going to wear them. As you'll hear me talk about in some of the other shoes that I've purchased, I will not wear them because they're just too difficult to put on. Now this next pair that you're seeing me wear right now is a pair of Gothic Pikes. It's my first Gothic Pikes with the patent PU and the adorable little bats. Let me see if I can get the camera. There we go, <laughs> bat clasps, they're really cool and I actually asked them to put the little ornament at the end of the buckle on for me because that wasn't part of this boot and yeah I was so surprised when they arrived with that on. The only negative thing I'm going to say about this style of boot is that they're quite difficult to get on. I mean it kind of comes with the territory, there's no side access zipper and I wish that there was one because I'd use the heck out of that. And Every other boot, when I think about it, that I own does have a side access zipper again because I'm super lazy. It just takes me too long to undo all of the shoelaces and then do up the straps. But when I do have the time, I wear these and they look really cool. Especially seeing they're a flat shoe, I find they kind of really dress up and stylize a look that would otherwise be quite casual because of the flat shoe. So that's really the only flat boot that I own because I like, even though I'm quite tall, I like a lot of height in my outfits. Now this one is a gorgeous kind of ankle boot. I didn't realize that I had this pair already and then I bought a second pair that you'll see in a second that is incredibly similar. I mean, they're slightly different, but <laughs> thank fuck. But um, Vaughn was like, why do you need, like the only difference is the buckles. I'm like, well, that, that's a big difference. <laughs> Um, but I fell in love with the buckles on these. Unfortunately, on eBay, which is where I bought these from, the buckles looked uh, chrome and they're kind of like a gun metal. Can you hear my son screaming in the background there? <laughs> um, so that was the only slight disappointment, but in the right light, they still look really bright. They're quite high, but because they've got the platform heel, they're really easy to walk in. And I love wearing these with tights or just ripped jeans, they're really cool. And they have my favorite side zipper. So this is the other pair that I was saying is slightly similar to the last. Now I kind of analyze it, they are, they are dramatically different. I mean, check out the, the, the buckles. They're more kind of Western cowboy influence. And again, it's got the side zipper, which is really nice. And they, they're not platform, so they're a little harder to walk in. And they are good, like three inch, that's some serious size there. I don't even know what brand this, there you go, ZU Zooid. I bought these from just an Australian shop that I walked into. I've never heard of them before. Um, so I doubt that <laughs> they'd have a website or that you'd be able to find them, but they're really cool. The other ones, however, that are really similar were available on eBay UK. So I'll see if I can find that link for you. Why the fuck am I talking so fast today? It's like I'm on speed. <sighs> I totally fucked the shit out of my makeup today. You need those days where it's just, you do your eyeliner and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and you're like, fuck, why don't you just paint your eyes black? I was going for a stylized look and I don't know what I ended up with, if that's even still like a winged cat eye. Oh, so frustrating. Why can't we just have like makeup artists live with us? Okay, my next pair of shoe, I better look at what these are. I'm gonna say they're Demonia. They're so, what? <laughs> look at the fucking heel in there. That 
That is, that's seen some love. This shoe and me have some stories to tell. That's been to a lot of metal concerts. It is worn away. In fact, you can see <laughs> the steel heel. And every time I walk with this, because the other one still has the rubber, it goes tick, 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 tick. So I sound kind of like a creepy serial killer that has <laughs> a weird sound on one shoe. So these are definitely Demonia. I think they are the Fury range. I will look that up. And they've got the skull buckles. And what I love about these shoes is that, I'm turning it around to show you the, the side zipper and I'm like, there it is. But what I love about these, hello. My nice husband brought me a cup of tea. Isn't he lovely? Oh my God, I would literally die without tea. Okay, where were we? Yeah, so I turned the shoe around and there is no side zipper, but I don't know if it's the material, if I don't know if they're synthetic or what, but I wore them so much, I guess they molded to my feet and I could just kind of slip my foot in with a sock, like a slipper, like an odd boot, and look instantly cool with these guys on. But no zippers needing, no buckles. It was brilliant. So these are like my everyday, as you can see from the wear, everyday walking shoe. So that's like a good two and a half inch. That to me is an everyday walking shoe. So when I bought the goth pikes that were completely flat, I'm like, wow, no, this, this, they're actually an everyday walking shoe. Um, but it's surprising if you do it every day, how used to heels you get. Um, so if you're kind of new to heels and you're like, fuck, they're so difficult to walk in, just keep walking in them. And I swear to God, your feet will like callous up. And yeah, before you know it, you'll be like totally fine wearing like six inch heels. So this next shoe, I can't be fucked um, <laughs> doing the buckles up properly so you can see them because it just takes too long. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce the brand and I didn't look it up before doing this video, which I probably should have. Anyway, I think it's like Petangulang or pe something with P. And these are really cool because they're handmade in England. Um, they have a steel heel, so they've lasted a lot longer than the Demonia one, but I, I dare say Every single shoe, look at the dirt on that motherfucker. <laughs> Every single shoe that I wear this much, I have to have that retreaded or I don't know what exactly that's called, but I will go to my local shoe guy at least every six months and have him change that because they just wear down. But these aren't as easy to get into as the Demonia ones, but <laughs> they have pentagrams on the buckles, so who cares, yeah? <laughs> and they've got that winkle picker, you know, witchy kind of very sharp, defined point, which I like a lot. It, it adds a lot of vibe to um, your outfit. On to another pair of New Rocks that I own. I have no idea what these are. Again, I will have to look them up. Again, I would have bought these like easily a decade ago. And look, you can see that like there's hardly any tread on that at all, um, which is a shame. I went through a very brief kind of cyber look when I was maybe, well, I don't know, early 20s. So, hence why I bought these. Hi, baby. This shows you how little I have worn these New Rock shoes. I just pulled out the fucking tag that says the style number. I don't know. I, I keep things like that. So, that will be handy when I write in the description below what these actually are. Um, so, yeah, for me personally, they're a little too cybery. I haven't been able to make that work. I like a really, really, really feminine edge to everything I do. I don't know if it's just because I've got a little bit older and that's the look that I like. So, these are just a little bit too chunky, but I might try them again and revisit trying to work them into my looks because they are a really gorgeously made boot. And look at the skull on that. The detail is just amazing. The 3D rivets there, the platform heel, they just, they're a bit like, again, Cybery is supposed to look a little bit like Paul Stanley, who I fucking love, but I just haven't been able to make them work. But I'm gonna try it, so maybe soon you'll see me wear these on my Instagram page. Which, by the way, if you're not following me, go on over and look for Avelina Demore on Instagram and add me, I'd love to see you there. Okay, on to the next pair. These were an absolute bargain off eBay. As you can hear, I do a lot of shopping on eBay and there's just so many bargains to be had on that website. It is stupid. These are quite interesting because you can wear them where you fold the back down so they kind of become an ankle boot. Or you can raise this up and then wear it like a low calf boot. So it's just really versatile. For the price, I really liked that. I like folding it down personally because it gives it kind of like a military goth vibe to the uh, boot that's kind of otherwise a little bit ordinary. But sometimes if your outfit is really, really busy, then you need a simpler kind of boot. This is one of my faves. This next boot is my first purchase from Harley Davidson Shoes. I wasn't even aware that they made shoes other than motorbikes, obviously. 
Um, and these ones <laughs> look complete with cobweb. <laughs> Can you see that? Let's get a close up of the cobweb. How fucking goth is that? My shoes are so gothic, they come with cobwebs. <laughs> Um, so yeah, these are quite near and dear to my heart because I purchased them in Hollywood when we were mixing my band's album. Um, and that would have been in 2013 when I went there with Vaughn. Um, so yeah, you would have, if you were there <laughs> when I was there, seen me walking up Hollywood Boulevard and these motherfuckers. They are just a little too high to be comfortable to wear. Um, I dare even say the new rocks that I've got are more comfortable to wear. So they look absolutely stunning. But, one, two, three, that's easily like four inches and I'm, once I get three, three and a half, I'm like, I can't do this. So hats off to Kat Von D who wears like absolute crazy high stilettos like every day. She's insane. So yeah, the buckles are really nice and again, they have my favorite side zipper access. A nice rounded toe, which is a little different for this style of boot. Um, and that I think is what drew me to it because all of my other shoes are the pointy toe or the winkle picker um, style, witchy style, so this was quite different to me. So when Vaughn was like, why do you need a 20th pair of shoe? I'm like, this is totally different. This has a round toe, look at that. And look, the lacing starts here and this has 16 and all my other ones only have 14, so it's completely different. And this has a four inch heel instead of a three and a half inch heel. Need I go fucking on? And he just went, okay. Coming from a guy that has like 20 plus guitars, like. He's got no right to question my shoe habits. Okay, this next pair, this is like Christmas for me. I've gotten out all of my boots for you guys since, you know, I recently moved into a new house and I haven't seen many of these in months, maybe even a year. I'm gonna say these are Demonia and they're quite different. They're very chunky. They kind of got like a schoolgirl look to it. Naughty schoolgirl that is. <laughs> and they've got the red lacing, which is kind of what drew me to them. Again, side access zipper, thank fuck for that. They lace up and have the little silver adornment, so that's a little different. They're a little chunky. I can't say I wear these too often, but again, I think I'm going to have to, you know, rekindle my love for some of these boots and, and give them a second chance, right? Otherwise, they'll just go to gothic shoe graveyard heaven, and that's a shame. They need a better life, don't they? Next up is another pair of boots that are very near and dear to my heart because these are what I wear on stage with my band as Angels Bleed. They are just the right amount of height, but not enough height that I'm gonna fall on my face and fucking embarrass myself, which luckily happened a few times in rehearsal and I have footage of this. And sometimes the heels, I'd be dancing so much that the heels literally break off. So if a shoe, manages to survive my band's rehearsal and me dancing and prancing around then they're a good fucking shoe unfortunately it's not a brand it was just it was quite a cheap shoe it was like 50 dollars from ebay and i'm not sure if i'll be able to find the link but they're just very feminine they work very well with the long flowy skirts that i wear on stage which you would have heard me speak about in my last video how to dress like a new goth witch so if you haven't checked that one out go and watch it after this one let me know what you think as well um, yeah, they're very, they just got that ruffled kind of design and a few buckles. They're not massively wide, so they're like a low calf boot. But something that's really essential for me in a low calf boot is that this part here is not massively wide or at least adjustable. Because I have quite petite calves and then when you buy boots and they're massive, it just, it doesn't look feminine. So for me, a boot has to be comfortable, it has to be stylish, it has to be well made and easy to get in or out of. <laughs> These next boots actually have a funny story um, to them. So these are the Avril Lavigne brand called Abby Dawn. Um, I only recently found out that she had her own brand, which was quite cool. Everything started to be I've expected and there's a lot of crossbones and stuff. When I started <laughs> falling over a lot in rehearsals for my band, I was just like, fuck, I'm so clumsy. I can't wear heels on stage. Um, so I bought these. They're kind of like more of a combat boot kind of look. Um, and they're very high and I did wear them for about six months and they're incredibly comfortable but I was just like this this isn't me I it's not feminine enough so I just had to kind of rework what I was doing live my movements live to make sure that I wasn't going to fall over and learn how to balance myself in heels so that in itself was something I had to practice but yeah I just I couldn't do it this is like to me something a 16 year old girl would wear which makes sense 
I guess Avril's like 30 now, but like her brand is geared towards, you know, a younger demographic. So yeah, if I was going to go bushwalking or something, I, this would be my choice of shoe. <laughs> Not that I'm probably ever going to do that. But yeah, if I do, I will wear these. Howdy partner. This next shoe is a very traditional kind of cowboy boot, which I think I got from Route 66, which is a very famous kind of rock and roll cowboy infused shop on, I think it's Oxford Street in Darlinghurst, which is a very kind of fashionable place to shop in Sydney. Um, it used to be very gothy, but now all of those shops have closed down. So I'm not even sure if they're still around, but these would have been maybe 120, $150 at most. And they were my first ever cowboy boot. I might've been 19 when I purchased these. Um, I was kind of getting into black and beginning to go, you know, more onto the gothy side there but from maybe 15 to 18 I kind of went through a punky stage where I had my hair all shaved and it was like a mohawk so these were my go-to shoe at that time last but not least I don't even know if we can classify these as technically a gothic boot but I'm going to show them anyway just because they're so damn sexy and I've had them for so long all the leather is cracked which I think just adds to the look so these as you can see are very 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 high very sexy they're like above the knee stiletto black heel I love wearing like really tight mini dresses and the I would never wear these out but <laughs> for photo shoots they look really cool again I haven't worn them in so long I just found them the other day went oh my love where have you been um, yeah so I, I think you will see me wearing these in some upcoming photos let me know if you've enjoyed this video remember to comment below share my video remember to subscribe to my channel as well um, I had a lot of positive feedback from my last video, which was the how to dress like a new goth video um, And a lot of people were kind of asking me to do more fashion orientated videos So obviously it's something I'm highly into and very inspired by so I think I will take your advice and start to do that um, So yeah, let me know if you like this video and I'll see you all soon